Anyway, we got ourselves a match. Take it away, guys. You may, you may, you may, a match. I think of DK is like, you may hit it once. <laughs> <laughs> you may slap it once. Ooh. Oh! Okay, we're going straight yeah, down no. again under the stage where I can't see y'all. Yeah, no, Dill's, Dill's gonna be fine, but Bale versus Rob. I know, obviously the meme is Rob is big, but I feel like in, in this matchup, that's gonna be, you know, that's gonna be huge. Pun intended. Uh, no, it wasn't. I literally could not think of another <laughs> word. <laughs> no, you're right. Rob, unfortunately, having such a big hurt box, and Bayo having moves that are just... They're, 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 they're big. Like, in terms of the motion and how easy she can catch you in her, like, aerials, Rob will get caught in this, and how, like... How slow Rob can be in the air as well when he's kind of like gliding and floating. Yeah, she can catch you. So Dill has to be really careful against uh, against Bayo. Yeah, no, and we can already see, oh. especially the way that Dill loves to recover high because so many characters can't do anything about it. Bayonetta is one of the few characters who can, especially when it comes to you know the witch twist, the the triple jump, and the, the ABKs. You know she'll find you. Oh. And already Dill finding 76% on her second stock so far while Amaryllis is sitting pretty with the his, their first. Also, I was about to say, like... Oh, and we can also already oh. see uh, the way that Amaryllis is ready to play around Gyro. I'm sorry, that was really, really nice movement from Amaryllis. I want to take like, a second just there, like, wish timing into grabbing Gyro into, like, just dash attack, throwing Gyro, and then, like, continuing on that combo off stage, which eventually landed in Dill just, like, dying. Super chef's kiss. That was beautiful. Yep. Oh, and another wish time. Amaryllis has been, get, been getting so many wish times out of the Gyro, something that is usually such a boon for Dill. You know, that's just free stage control. But if it's a continuous hitbox, that's free wish time for Amaryllis. Alright, up throw. Oh, this should be up throw okay. up throw. Yep, yeah. Choosing to go for the down throw there. I feel like up throw may have been able to do it. Bayonetta is extremely light, mm -hmm. but Dill going for the uh, safer down throw right there. Going low again. Amaryllis has been ready for there, all yeah. of Dill's offstage wow. shenanigans, but that time not ready for their own. Hey, we're even now. We are indeed even. We are in even stocks. So this could be exactly what Dill needs, but it feels like even with that SD, oh, no, it's been oh, okay. Amaryllis' game so far. They have had all of the momentum. Oh, and an unfortunate air dodge off stage. It's Today is the day of air dodges off stage that kill you yeah. immediately after. It's taking air one. Stop stop air dodging off stage. It's scary. You could be next. You could be next. The next menace is it, it was it was never about ban Kazia, ban Steve, ban air dodging. That's the real culprit here. The problem is not the the character. The problem is the mechanics <laughs> of air dodge off stage. That should be just simply just like all out. Yep. Okay, so Kalos for the <coughs> for Dill's counterpick. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Kalos is going to be giving Dill a lot more time or a lot more space to run around and try and set up that pressure because it really feels like Amaryllis was just on top of Dill that entire game one. Yeah, I completely agree. Dill had almost no room to breathe. That had almost like nothing. She, she couldn't do really do anything. Bale was completely like overwhelming Rob, and Rob needs his space. He needs his setups. He needs some time to you know take back and just like. Gyro, 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 laser, you know? Yeah, but I mean, even then, you know, we've seen Amaryllis knows what to do about this, uh, the gyro pressure when it's off, when it's on the stage. But that being said, Dill having more space to throw out the gyro means that she could be out of that witch, uh, witch time range for the activation. And if Amaryllis throws out the witch time too much on the, the gyro, then, you know, it stales and it's gonna, uh, not really allow Amaryllis to get the kills when they need to. What? 90. That started at like nothing. Uh, that was that started maybe at some, 71%. That was maybe some not optimal DI coming out from yeah. Amaryllis, but also, you know, Bayonetta just in incredibly light. Okay, hopefully, Amaryllis can take it back really quickly in this little uh, edge guard scenario. Can you challenge Rob up in the air like that? Yes, you can, just Ooh, like that. Especially when Dill's gonna be whiffing back airs like that that gives Amaryllis the opening they need. Oh, but trying to throw out the witch time there, 
just catching another forward air for it. What right. she say? She said, "Is is that all you got?" I love her. Me too. I can't wait for Bayonetta three. Anyway. No, you're right. She looks so. Good. I never played any of the games, but she looks so good. They're incredible. You, you should play them. But Amaryllis right now looking to get a chance to play the game themselves, using the Witch Time again on the Gyro. But as I was saying before, Dill uh, staying outside of that range, and Dill's going to be living to 194 if Amaryllis is able to find this kill quickly. Hey, you definitely got to find it now, or you're, you're going to not get anything, because uh, letting Dill possibly take the second stock from you while she herself is out three stocks. It's gonna be so much catching up to do. Finally getting that, that first look off of Dill, now going 2-2 uh, at the moment, and hopefully getting a bunch of damage off of this... Nothing. Okay, 26%? No, that's not bad. Yep. It's a wow, what an, up, uh, uh, what an up smash out of shield. I think <clears throat> Amaryllis was trying to fast fall that neutral air to avoid any sort of uh, out of shield option, but Dill was ready. And only 49% on Dill while Amaryllis sitting on their last, their last stock of this game, too. I, I do like the patience there by Amaryllis. Uh, I th think Amaryllis wasn't sure if they'd be hit by the gyro while it was on the ground. So maybe trying to use the throw invincibility there to uh, not have to worry about it. Oh, Dill walked into the uh, the Witch Time activation range. Um, luckily, Amaryllis wasn't able to get too much out of it. And Amaryllis just taking so much chip damage right now from gyros and lasers. Mm -hmm. Finally getting a good amount of damage on Dill. Hopefully this will take the second stock away from her. No. Yeah, no, I don't think Amaryllis was, would have been able to kill off of that Dill swinging with the up smash. That absolutely would have killed. But instead, Amaryllis has another lease on life right now. But 124 with <coughs> Dill having rage and Bayo being as light as she is, it is not looking particularly pretty for Amaryllis right now. Amaryllis is going to have to find this second stock, and then, which that there should be it, the jabs, and then really just find something explosive here on Dill's last stock if Amaryllis wants to take this game two and take it into Grams on winner's side. Yeah, absolutely. If, if they're not gonna be able to take it uh, out now, maybe take a very less situation or up in the air, Dill's going to run with, run with this game two free, and Amaryllis going to have to deal with another set with Dill. Oh. So hopefully we have Rage active, we have Wish Timing, oh, no. and we have... Nothing going off of it, however, unfortunately. Yeah, Dill was still in shield, so uh, Amaryllis wasn't able to get too much out of it. Now, 185. A lot of things from Rob will do it right now. But Amaryllis oh, has rage. Oh, there's no way. Mm, okay. Oh, okay. Dill just again. keeps getting hit. No <gasps> way. You can DI that. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, you're yeah, fine. Yeah. You're oh, not you can't fine. DI that. Nope. Oh, my goodness. Oh. The clutch win from Amaryllis. Uh, it's okay. We can have. We, we might be able to get a, a run back. So uh, uh, once again, my my my, my statement will hold true. I'm not uh, the HO3K Slayer. All right. Goodbye numbers. Goodbye Dale. Unfortunate but true. That was really just like, just followed her down. Mhm. Mm was was clutching out for for some kind of uh, attack right there. Thankfully these the the two combos that. They were able to get off of Dill. Did so much damage. There was rage going on. There was a lot. Of, there's, just, there's a lot of scary things happening. All right. Yeah. No. I mean, that absolutely felt like Dill's game to win. But mm -hmm. Amaryllis was just playing so well, especially in that last stock. I feel like Dill may have been a little bit too antsy to get that to get that game-winning kill. So yeah. 145. Able to get the jab combo right there was. <coughs> Ready cams. Oh. And then would lift all the way to 185 as well. Yeah. And then I, I think I mentioned it earlier how like Bayo is gonna be able to catch Rob while like Rob Rob is falling. Mm -hmm. You know, just so easily and <clears throat> boom bam bop. Yeah, no, Bayonetta is one of those characters that is gonna be able to cover all of that that range in uh Rob's disadvantage that um <clears throat> that uh Dill loves to use so much. Anyway, next up, we are going to be seeing Vivi versus Zamba. I, I want to tell y'all Zamba's 